the AI revolution is unfolding with a fever that cannot be ignored. Every day, headlines blaze with questions like, can companies like OpenAI withstand the relentless onslaught from companies like Meta, Google, Tesla, Microsoft? The stage is set and the players are in position. And now the world watches with bated breath. But amongst this high stakes drama, a quiet force that refuses to be overshadowed. Enter Nvidia, the non-dramatic anti-hero of today's story. And while the world focuses on the flashy battles of the AI titans, Nvidia is operating in the shadows, steadily and unassumingly. They've been relentlessly churning out research paper, hardware, products, and as steadily and unstoppably as a river carving its way through a mountain. The silent powerhouse that is Nvidia will finally get the attention it deserves in this video. Let's talk about morphable, stretchable faces. So imagine being able to create a high quality 3D avatar of your face in real time. But that's not it. You can also animate it like a Pixar mm -hmm. cartoon. Meaning you can accurately stretch the ears, the eyes, the nose, the jaws, the mouth, the face. Just like a Pixar character with overly animated expressions. And sometimes even ludicrous proportions. Well that's what those smart folks over at the NVIDIA research team just did. They've trained a model using a collection of high quality 3D scans. And once trained, this model can actually make an avatar out of a single photo. And the best part is these avatars can be viewed from different angles. And the textures that make up the skin can be edited it at will. It's a breakthrough for transferring your face into a video game, for example. And in the future, this is like the perfect tool to capture somebody making an expression, a reaction, a comment, and then taking it and stretching the face out so it fits over another inanimate object like a car. Well, I know what you're thinking. What about the hair? It's always a problem to animate the hair. Well, NVIDIA's got you covered here also. Have you ever heard about the drama and the intricacies that come from trying to animate hair inside of a video game or a 3D movie? Well, there's a YouTube video called NVIDIA is simulating 100,000 hair strands by one of my favorite YouTube creators, Two Minute Papers, he's an OG. And in his video, he explains the complex process of animating hair, such as like the fur on virtual characters and how these interactions are actually mathematically done using column friction. I can't explain it, look at the full video. And why it becomes so computationally expensive when every hair is interacting with every other hair. It's this multiplier, multiplier effect. Which seems like nothing, but if you have like an animated wolf or something and it comes out of the blue, you've got to animate so much hair. And that's where NVIDIA research team steps into the picture. A single scientist over there has introduced a paper presenting a next generation hair simulation solution. And it's made up of 120,000 points. And the simulation runs in real time. It only takes 17 milliseconds to process, meaning you can get 30 or 60 frames out of a video game. And that's just one research scientist, which shows sometimes one person can change the world. Wow. All right, so you might think that having perfect hair is all you need to make a cool video game. Make me look decent but it turns out there's like more stuff that you need. So imagine being a video game creator and wanting to create a safari themed video game. Well, think about the time and effort you'd have to put in to fill a virtual jungle with virtual animals, birds, sloths, antelopes. It's a very diverse and interactive ecosystem, not easy to model. This incredible artificial intelligence can turn 2D images into 3D shapes. So using a text to image model like Midjourney, Dali, or Stable Diffusion, you can just whip up thousands of different animals. <laughs> then pop them into Nvidia's Git3D and watch them turn into real virtual animals that populate your safari. But the magic doesn't stop there. Want to turn a lion into a snow leopard? Or a giant gorilla into a curious chimpanzee? Go ahead, because Nvidia's Git3D lets you adjust them in giant batches, so just one button they all change. And the future looks even brighter for this tool when you think about taking your own photos out in the real world. Like imagine going on a real safari and snapping a photo of an awesome giraffe. Well, you could bring that back and populate it into a virtual world for your personal avatar to explore. It's more than just a tool. It's a way to bring your wildest gaming adventures to life. So if you need a 3D avatar, but you've only got a 2D photo of your face, well then Nvidia's got a tool for that too. So Nvidia's got this really new technique that runs really well on low-end computers. And it allows you to capture a photograph of your face and view it in three dimensions almost instantly. It's a significant advancement mostly in the fact that it works so quickly and in fact almost quickly enough that you can run it in real time like on a live stream. So the secret technology behind this is called a vision transformer based triplane encoder. And yes I had to look it up but imagine those Russian nesting dolls but with encoders. So it's a really complicated system but it helps an AI system understand the intricate details between the 2D pixels and their 3D counterparts so it can interpolate between the two taking the 2D photo making it 3D. And the potential implications are exciting. Imagine a movie, like your favorite movie that you saw on the screen in two dimensions, truly come to life. I think I'll use my credit card. That is the step we've taken with this technology. Oh my gosh, Jurassic World Dominion could come to life? Now NVIDIA has also integrated this technology into a 2D talking head generator, which opens us up to a world where Bill Gates and Socrates can have a debate. <laughs> 
Now, if you're wondering about why this technology is investable, let's turn to a finance YouTuber for that answer. Nvidia and Unreal's huge AI breakthrough better than ChatGPT. But the YouTube creator ticker symbol U brings to light the exciting advancements in artificial intelligence that are revolutionizing the 3D graphics and motion capture industry. He helps his viewers understand the potential of Unreal Engine's cutting edge generative AI tools. And then he breaks down how they're not just abstract concepts, but they're actually tangible things that they're pushing out to their products. He speculates on why that might make them a lot of money in the future, because it's an investment channel after all. Pointing out how useful and expensive current motion capture technology is and how that might get replaced. And then he points out the compounding effect of these innovations once they're integrated with Nvidia's Omniverse. Which is a really interesting platform that actually connects all sorts of 3D tools, even some of the ones that they don't make. And how companies like Adobe, Unity, and Runway ML are using this kind of technology to reshape their fields. But skipping the intermediate 2D photo, there's only a couple ways right now to go from truly text-based prompts, all the way to 3D point clouds and renders, which both arguably are in their infancy. So if you've ever wondered about the future of 3D artists in the age of AI, then you would probably love Maya Akim's YouTube video titled, Will AI Replace 3D Artists? Which is a fascinating look into this question. In her video, Maya explores two different AI tools, Point E and Stable Dream Diffusion, which can turn simple text prompts into 3D models. She demonstrates how to use these tools and discusses their strengths and weaknesses. For example, she uses the Point E software to create, quote, a fat cat. <laughs> Which looks more like a seal in my opinion, but like, it's kind of cat-like. I get it's, the technology's in its infancy, okay? <laughs> But the point is it was done just from a prompt, which is super cool. She also guides the viewer through the process of setting up and training both of these models. And when she gets to the second one, which is stable dream diffusion, you get incredibly hilarious results. I'll have to save it, save it for the video. You should check out the full one. No, actually spoiler, it's a weird looking cat with a horn. But look, even if stable dream diffusion doesn't quite live up to the hype, Maya's video certainly does because it's a hands-on go-to guide with examples. Do I smell bad? Because sometimes I think I need a little bit of NVIDIA's perfusion. Oh, brother! So if you're interested in the latest advancements in artificial intelligence, I have a YouTube channel for you to check out. It's called The AI Grid, and their video called NVIDIA's New AI Perfusion is a must watch. And in it, he talks about NVIDIA's new method to learn physically simulated tennis skills from broadcast videos, and that could totally change the way that animations inside of video games actually work. And then he shows off the new NVIDIA Perfusion model, which is a new text-to-image personalization method. And it can generate high-quality, consistent images just off a text prompt, and most impressively from a single image. And he even manages to fit in a few more exciting developments. NVIDIA's ability to infer and render photorealistic 3D representations from a single image in real time. Using neural physics could greatly improve the realism in video games. And lastly, their developments in using neural networks for texture compression, meaning much higher quality and more realistic graphics when you zoom in on things in video games. So you know how ChatGPT can kind of simulate a conversation for a long time and that can be realistic and it could just go on and on, on its own without your help, right? Well, right now when characters like NPCs in video games go and explore their environment, they do it kind of mechanically. It's not as natural as it is in the real world. That's where NVIDIA's new technology is creating hyper-realism in the way that characters interact with their environments. So you know how in video games the background character always needs to just do normal stuff like walk around, carry things, sit down, do things like that? I am sworn to carry your burdens. Well, NVIDIA is developing a really cool new system using artificial intelligence that's really good at that. And unlike other systems which are either like manually scripted or they have very simple rules and they work kind of mechanically when very you see weird. them working in the background, this one is different. NVIDIA has developed this really cool new method to build a model Model called adversarial imitation learning. And they wrap it all up with reinforcement learning. Think of it as one AI that's a student and another AI that's like a teacher constantly giving the student feedback no matter what they do. And the result is that NPCs interact with their background environment so realistically, it's almost like they was programmed or it was scripted. And the best part is it's much easier for the game developers. It requires no labeling or scripting. This approach is called interphysics and it's making a big splash in making animations more realistic. Imagine the future of video games and VR simulations. It's gonna feel like Batman. And it's all because artificial intelligence is learning to imitate us. I mean, I guess they say imitation's the highest form of flattery. Smash that subscribe button!